I'm back. Rodrance for the Black and White Network. Well, I did a video on a North Carolina dad who was sitting in a school board meeting, and he absolutely leveled the entire room, shooting down mask mandates and CRT. And now we have a mother who is going viral because she called out some monumental hypocrisy at a Virginia school board meeting, called out one of the members over a mask, and boy, they got triggered. They got triggered. They stormed out. I'll show you the video. No worries there. Uh, got triggered. I'm telling you, I've said yesterday, I've said it before. It is going to be, in part, kids becoming a target of the left as political pawns that may just turn this fight in the other direction. Uh, we saw it in their elections. Virginia, uh, voting in Glenn, uh, Governor Yunkin, the change is happening. The midterms, Democrats are about to get smacked. And in large part, I mean, you even have somebody in San Francisco now saying we failed the kids. In San Francisco, now... I would be remiss in not pointing out, if if I didn't, that a lot of these Democrats are going to start scrambling in the other direction because they know they're going to lose. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep, the, keep in mind that a lot of this is political theater from the left if all of a sudden they think they're switching. And that's, that's why you're seeing mask mandates fall in places now because they know they're going to lose their elections. I mean, it's a wrap. They're going to lose them. This is the Daily Wire. We're taking the power out of your hands. Virginia mom confronts school board member with maskless photo, and she storms out. And once again, guys, they threatened to call. They called in law. They, they I, You can hear them say, call law enforcement over somebody showing you a picture of them and your hypocrisy of telling everybody mask up in public settings. But you're unmasked? No. No. That local Democrats that don't get their way that all of a sudden want law enforcement. Hmm. Funny. One of the school board members abruptly walked out of a meeting in Montgomery County, Virginia, after a parent confronted her with photos of herself maskless in a public setting. The mothers, whose name was not revealed in the video, shared by Newsbusters, began by confronting the board as a whole and saying that parents all over the state were ready to take back power from the school boards and return it to the parents. This is it. Not this year. That makes no sense. And it makes all of you a bunch of hypocrites, except for Dana and Jamie. Ooh. Miss Cass, you also yelled at me the last time I was here for taking off my mask, but here's a picture of you. Right here on Facebook with a crowd of people. That's it. With no mask on. Uh, this Excuse is my time me. and I don't no. interrupt you. Here's another picture no. with you with a no mask on. I'm sorry, Ms. Vaught, you are done. If you are going to sit there and disparage a member of our school board, then you can sit down. If you have something effective to say. I have facts and truth on my side. I am not going to sit here. This isn't about you anymore. It's about Can we have a police officer, please? <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> I, no, I'm not scared. I don't care. I would like oh, you to either talk about cop. something. You can talk about something that is, uh, concerns our school board. Is there something about our students you would yeah, like to talk know. about? Then talk about our students. You're taking up my time. Can you please ask Ms. So Vaught to leave? Huh. Thank you. Well, what, for speaking hey. the truth? <laughs> Let's let, let her have, let's let the rest of us talk. Can I finish? No. So you, you are. If you would like to finish oh. about students, but if your idea is. That wow. Wow. Okay. So now, isn't it interesting? The same party, the same political party that screamed about defunding the police wanted to diminish the police's power when there is a message being spread that they do not like. Can we get a police officer, please? Can we get a police officer? Uh, we're getting called out for our own bullshit, but can we get a police officer, please? Uh, we need a police officer in the house. I, I find that in itself. That's just more hypocrisy. Stand there. 
Let's keep going here. Huh? You should be able to say her piece. Because I've I believe one of these school board members. Me. People came here and criticized uh, you last year. Absolutely. And I couldn't do anything about it. And exactly. They cut her I mic was, off, too, by the People way. came here and they talked about your mask to your face. They, say, they showed pictures of your family. They showed pictures of your fa Yeah, they did worse. That doesn't make it right. That's no, it that doesn't but make I, it right, Jamie. You're right, but I had to say. Those are my, that's my family. That is all, then fine. What do you think about our family? I am not. Our family is being suffocated today. So what do you think about our family? Time is up. When she leaves or I leave. They don't like it when you Time put their up. own crap back in their face, no, folks. It's not, it's not the truth, but that's, they not, don't. that's not the issue. What's the issue? Oh, look, she got mad. There she goes, stormed out. She stormed out. Senate Bill 739, as you guys probably know, is going to be signed into law very soon, and we're taking the power out of your hands, putting it back with the parents the way it should be. She began. It is very concerning that you guys would take the power away from parents. She continued going on to single out one school board member. You, the, the you were saying, inter, well, that's interesting. The you were saying, introducing the public address comment, you said, this is the time we get to hear from the students, from the staff, and from community members. You didn't mention parents, not one bit. And I think that's a big issue for Montgomery County because you guys do not like the parents. That's how I feel because you're t taking the choice away from the parents and you're trying to take it and put it into your hands. For financial reasons, question mark, we sat here last year and listened to you guys preach to us about Governor Northam's executive orders. <laughs> she added, asking why, if executive orders from the previous governor, Ralph Northam, Democrat, demanded compliance without question, the new direction coming from Governor Glenn Youngkin, Republican, was not afforded the same deference. Why is it different from last year when we were here to this year, she asked. Two different governors, two different political parties. So we were supposed to follow it last year, but not this year. That makes no sense, and it makes you all a bunch of hypocrites. And then she goes on to say, here's a picture of you. And it, it just, I mean, it, it, it melts down from there to the point that the, uh, the obviously, let's be real, most of these school members are Democrats and they're liberals. That's what I keep saying. Watch what's going on in your schools. Man. And, and you know a trend I'm seeing? I, because they have a lot of these people on Fox News and on Newsmax. A lot of these mothers that they're bringing up there are saying, I voted, voted in past tense, Democrat. I had voted as Democrat. They're telling you, you've lost their vote. You've lost their vote. The, the Democrats have lost voters because... You have harmed the children, and you've discounted the parents. Enough is enough. And these parents are like, nope, y'all are a bunch of hypocrites. We, the parents, are now doing our own research. We've caught people like you in hypocritical bullshit situations, and now we are going to call you out on it. I think the most hilarious part about this is the fact that she said, can we get a, can we get a police officer? Can we get law enforcement? Well, wait a minute. Y'all didn't want law enforcement, right? Y'all wanted to defund law enforcement and pull them out. And all of a sudden, when you're getting it thrown back in your face and you're getting a message you don't want to hear, all of a sudden you need law enforcement. Oh, no, you're good. Nothing to see here, right? Oh, I think it's hilarious. I think it's hilarious. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network fans. You mess with the children. Democrats are about to get absolutely drug in the midterms. Absolutely. People have had enough of this BS. Back to common sense. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.